so hi to everyone today i'm going to start uh, uh, to revise the chapters especially icse uh, icse syllabus that is a trigonometry exercise 21a already you know very well about the basics of trigonometry uh, which we learnt in the ninth class now i am going to start so 10th trigonometry exercise 21a i'm going to explain the problems one by one before going to enter into the topic uh, let me give small introduction about the trigonometry which is useful for this exercise only we know three identities are there in trigonometry especially sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 and secant square theta minus tan square theta is equal to 1 and cosecant square theta minus cot square theta is equal to 1 they are trigonometric identities or Pythagoras identities also for all the values of theta we get the answer 1 and uh, by using them we can prepare some other relations for example by using first one sin square theta equal to by doing transposing cos square theta from LHS to RHS it becomes 1 minus cos square theta so some of you you may by had the answer sin square theta is nothing but 1 minus cos square theta otherwise whenever you want to use the identity you can prepare the relations in such a way by doing transposing method first you try to by had these three identities so automatically we can prepare whenever you want such type of relations so sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 secant square theta minus tan square theta is equal to 1 cosecant square theta minus cot square theta is equal to 1 and uh, some basics basic relations in the trigonometry also very useful to solve the problems in this exercise what are they you know very well so secant theta is a multiplicate inverse of cos so you can write secant theta like 1 by cos or cos like 1 by sin the same way cosecant theta is nothing but inverse of sin so whenever you want to write cosecant in terms of sin you can write 1 by sin the same cot theta is inverse of tan so you can write cot theta is nothing but 1 by tan and the same way tan theta is nothing but 1 by cot. The same, what happens if I divide sin theta by cos theta? Of course we get tan theta. What happens if I divide cos theta by sin theta? Of course we get cot theta. And we are going to use these relations to solve the problems in this exercise. I am sure you get certain idea about the problems. Here the answer is most important. So, how to get the idea to solve the problems in this exercise is most important than getting the answer. So, here first, uh, because many thoughts we get in the trigonometry, how to start the problem? In any way you can start, you can reach the answer. But once you are gripping the concepts, I am sure you can get the answer any method. But you have to stick with one method in which we feel some comfort. So, first one, prove that secant A minus 1 by secant A plus 1 is equal to 1 minus cos a by so 1 plus cos a it is just a prove that prove that is nothing but LHS equal to RHS you take LHS and simplify it and show that uh, whatever answer we get at the end which is equal to RHS or else take RHS first and simplify it and get the answer LHS as the answer otherwise take LHS and take the RHS and simplify both and get the same answer in both cases so in three methods are there I am going to use the first method now I am going to start the problem with LHS that is secant A minus 1 by secant A plus 1. So how to start the problem? How to get the third? Simple. Compulsory our required is the RHS. So to get the RHS how to start the problem? Our thoughts around the RHS only. So our LHS is in terms of secant but our answer is in terms of cos. So think about is there any relation between secant and cos? And here uh, can you, pre can you convert secant A in terms of cos if it is possible? Of course. Because secant A is nothing but secant A is inverse of cos. So secant is multiplicate inverse of cos. So inverse of means 1 by. Inverse of A means 1 by A. The same way inverse of uh, cos means 1 by cos. So in the place of secant you can write 1 by cos A minus 1 by 1 by cos A plus 1. Simple do LCM. So you know how to how to divide how to subtract the fractions by doing LCM. The LCM is cos A. Cos A divides cos A one time one ones are one. One divides cos A cos A times cos A ones are cos A by same cos A again. Both are same. When the denominator equal to LCM, take the numerator as it is. And one divides cos A 
cos a times cos a ones are cos a. Both LCMs are cancelled. So whatever you got one minus cos a by one plus cos a. So that is your RHS. Simple problem only. Depends on a inverse. So secant a is nothing but inverse of cos. Is simple start. So to very easy. Once uh, in trigonometry you can handle any problem when you are perfect in the identities and relations and concepts. Now second question. Same model you can do it. One plus sin a by one minus sin a is equal to cosecant a plus one by cosecant a minus one. Same model. So take the LHS and uh, get the answer uh, which is equal to RHS. How to it is simple. Let us start with the LHS first. One plus sin a by one minus sin a. But our required is in terms of cosecant. But our LHS is in terms of sin. Our prime duty is how to convert sin in terms of cosecant. If it is possible. Yes, it is possible. There is a relation between sin and cosecant. What is it? Sin is inverse of cosecant as well as cosecant is inverse of sin. So sin is inverse of cosecant means you can add 1 by cosecant. So replace it. 1 plus 1 by cosecant A plus 1 minus 1 by cosecant A. Just to do LCM by adding and subtracting. The LCM is very simple cosecant A. 1 divides cosecant A cosecant A times cosecant A. 1's are cosecant A. And cosecant A divides cosecant A 1 times 1 1's are 1. Same. The LCM is cosecant A. 1 divides cosecant A cosecant A times cosecant A 1's are cosecant A. Minus 1. Both are same. So whatever we left, whatever we have at last, that is only required. So cosecant A plus 1 by cosecant A minus 1. Very simple question. So simple uh, simple start. There is no much confusion. There is no much concept also. Just when you are perfect in the inverse trigonometric ratio. So very simple. Let us go for the third one. 1 by tan A plus cot A. Tan A plus cot A is equal to cos A into sin A. Cos A into sin A. Let us see now. Little bit depth. Some interesting concept involved in this problem. Not like other first one, second one. So just uh, first take LHS first. 1 by tan A plus cot A. Simple and how to start the problem? How to get first idea? First simple, very simple. According to the RHS, according to the required, we have to think about the relations. Our required is very simple in the RHS, we have cos and sin. But our LHS is in terms of tan and cot. So better to get idea to write tan and cot in terms of cos and sin if it is a possible. Of course, tan A, tan theta or tan A is nothing but sin A by cos. When you divide sin by cos, we get tan. Because sin is nothing but opposite side by hypotenuse. Cos is nothing but adjacent side by hypotenuse. Hypotenuse, hypotenuse cancel. So perpendicular by adjacent with base. Perpendicular by base. Perpendicular by base is nothing but tan. That's why sin by cos, sin by cos is nothing but tan. Cot is inverse of tan. So cot is inverse of tan means automatically cot is nothing but cos A by sin A. Now let us do substitution. 1 by tan A is nothing but sin A by cos A. Cot A is nothing but cos A by sin A. Just to do LCM. 1 by the LCM is cos A into sin A. So cos A divides your LCM by sin A times. When the product of denominators is LCM, shortcut LCM cross multiplication. But conditions apply. When the product of denominators is LCM. Now cos A divides cos A into sin A, sin A times. Sin A into sin A. Sin square A. And sin A divides LCM by cos A times. Cos A into cos A. Cos square A. At beginning of my class today, I started with uh, three identities. I wrote on the board also. Your first identity is sin square theta plus cos square theta is always equal to 1. Now we have the chance to use it. Because your numerator here, sin square A plus cos square A, it is in the form of an identity which gives always 1. Replace it. 1 by 1 by cos A into sin A. 1 by 1 means inverse of 1 by sin. So you can write uh, cos, a sin, cos a into sin a. Because 1 by 1 by. So 1 by means inverse. So inverse of 1 by cos a sin means again cos a by sin. That is your required. I hope you understood. Just I explained the three questions in my next video. So I will try to explain more problems. 
today just i want to give the idea about the chapter and i want to give what is the concept what is the method we are going to solve it in this exercise so i hope you enjoyed thank you